Hi guys, so we are coming from the base material preparation and we are going to go for inner layer imaging. Okay, but why this room is so yellow? Well, yellow is just the color because we use dry film and dry film is UV sensitive. But in fact, it's a clean room. Here they manage between 3 and 4K dust to avoid any short on the inner layer. Then, of course, Clement, you cannot go inside. Okay. But anyway, you guys, you can follow me and have a look. The clean room uses overpressure to protect and remove any dust coming from outside of the clean room. Likewise, before entering the clean room, the panels are cleaned. Depending on the thickness of the inner layers, the processes are different. For layers thinner than 500 micrometers, the chemical process is used. For thicker layers, the mechanical process is preferred. When panels arrive in the clean room, they are heated. Then the photoresist film, or as here, the ink is automatically applied onto the panel. The boards are registered at plus or minus 15 to 30 micrometers with two or four CCD cameras. A vacuum is created. Then a blast of UV light is applied with an average of one to 20 seconds, depending on the process. This is the insulation. The boards are polymerized and ready to be developed. For the development phase, the board is washed with an alkaline solution, which removes the photoresist left unhardened. From there, we can see the inner layer image for the first time. Etching is the critical step in layer imaging. Here, the unprotected copper is removed and defines the pattern. After stripping the ink, the photoresist film is now completely removed. After the multi-layer lamination, it is impossible to correct errors occurring on the inner layers. The automatic optical inspection will confirm a total absence of defects. The original design from the Gerber file serves as a model. If the machine detects any inconsistencies, a technician will assess the problem. Okay, so this is the hand of the inner layer processes. It seems at each process there is a lot of control and verification. Yeah, absolutely. PCB is so complicated with a lot of processes. As we want to have zero defect at the end, we need to make a lot of control everywhere. The next one will be lamination. Stay tuned.